Uh, black t-shirts, black tracksuit bottoms. Nicholas Salvador, a paranoid schizophrenic, is seen here in the early stages of his 45-minute rampage. Armed with a large knife and a wooden pole, he has already killed two cats. The cage fighter vaults the garden fences with ease. Then he tries to attack the passengers in a car, but they escape. Now looks like he's got serious mental health issues. Moments later, in her garden, he had a brief exchange with 82-year-old Palmira Silva. Salvador repeatedly stabbed her, then beheaded her. The destruction continued outside, as officers feared Salvador was about to come into contact with others. We do have children in these back gardens, back gardens. He eventually stepped inside a house as the police ushered others to safety. I'm speaking to the mill now. 300. The inspector you could hear just then says the incident was simply terrifying. It was definite rage. There was uh, sheer anger. His eyes were absolutely wide. He wasn't speaking to me, but I, I could see that he was enraged. And being honest, I, I was scared because I, I was fully aware of what he'd done before. Uh, and and he, he was definitely enraged, yeah. Cafe owner Mrs. Silva was well known in Edmonton as kind and chatty. One of her granddaughters has described how she heard that horrific news last September. You know, the whole world knew before I knew, which really upset me. And so you get yourself home. And I don't know, you don't even know how to comprehend what's happened. And you still, to this day, you think, you know, it's a big nightmare. And you think you're going to wake up and everything's going to be absolutely fine. The judge told Salvador he'd killed Mrs. Silva with extraordinary brutality and ferocity. But he acknowledged he was suffering from a mental illness. You didn't know what you were doing was wrong, he told him. Salvador believed he'd been seeing demons. A jury found him to be legally insane. His barrister said he was regarded as a decent man when not unwell. He'll now be detained indefinitely in high security Broadmoor Hospital. Julian Drucker, 5 News.